Welcome Sagittarius, I'm back. I am the Empress, happy to have you here with me. All right, so we're gonna take a look into mid-20, January 2020, all right? We're gonna see what energy is coming towards you. And so let's see what's going on for my Sagittarius, okay? My Sagittarius, keep in mind, these are general reads. They won't resonate with every single Sagittarius, all right? Don't try to make it fit. You take what applies, and what does not apply, you let that fly, all right? So, we got a jumper here. We have wisdom hmm, and intuition here at the bottom of the deck. So your intuition may be telling you that it's time to take control. Mm, maybe you're setting up rules and boundaries. We got power. And we have authority. Okay. You guys, your intuition is telling you you got to buck up. Okay. Maybe you're being very traditional and by the book. Maybe you're trying to do something different, okay? Let's see. What else is there for Sagittarius? All right. So, you guys are focused on your material harvest. All right, you're focused on your material, you're focused on yourself, you're focused in honed in on your finances, your career. You know what's best for you, okay? Let's get some clarifiers. Why is wisdom here? Why is wisdom here? I mean, like you know, is I'm getting like you know this this situation like the back of your hand. That's what I'm getting like. I know this situation like the back of my hand. I know this. I know this like the back of my hand. Yeah. See, you're feeling in control. For some of you guys, this could be like, with the emperor here, this could be an Aries. You could be dealing with the Taurus as well. But I'm picking up like, like a pastor or someone like in a high position in regards to like the spiritual community or the religious, on the religious end. I'm picking that up as well. But I'm picking up too like someone just feels very dominant and in control okay someone is feeling like they could just say anything too we got the page of cups which is pisces is energy and the devil which is capricorn's energy ace of wands okay oh a new start oh ten of wands want to jump out Okay, so someone is doing a lot of communication is coming in, okay? Communication is coming in, most definitely. But I'm getting like talking to, some of you guys may be deciding to take more control over the situation. Maybe there's something that you're dropping. You're dropping something to start something new. Maybe it's a way of thinking. Maybe it's a rule or something that's done traditionally. I feel like you guys are trying to switch things up. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Okay, so something would be a big risk, okay? If you do something, if you take this leap of faith, you feel like it'll be something big. But it's something that you feel like is going to bring you emotional fulfillment, okay? It's something that you feel like is going to bring you from emotional fulfillment, okay? So material harvest, this is also like the singles person card. Um, you know, when they're focused on themselves, and they're doing what's best for them, okay? Material harvest. Why is material harvest here? Material harvest. Material harvest. Material harvest. Material harvest. Okay, so um, we have the Four of Swords, okay? And the Empress here at the bottom of the deck and the Seven of Swords, okay? So, I'm picking up that there could be a third party involved in this situation, okay? Picking up that there's a third party. I did see the Mother and the Father card, which is the Empress, which is the Mother card. The Emperor, which is the Father card. So, there could be, like, a situation in regards to, like, someone's mother or father, as well like a baby mother or a baby father as well but i am picking up that you know there could be some third party stuff going on here 
I feel like you're thinking about, you know, what's best for you. We got the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, so you're thinking about, you know, stability and why is the King of Pentacles here? Being successful. Six of Cups, okay. You're thinking about the past. You're looking over the past. Ooh. Okay, you're thinking about the past. With that King of Pentacles, it could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. All right, but I feel like you 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 think about the past, even though sometimes you try to block you try to block it out. I feel like you still think about it, and this could be keeping you up at night, or there is possibly like a Cancer that is worried. Okay, we got the Nine of Swords and the Chariot card. All right, so there could be someone that is you know worried, or you're worried about where this is going to go. Or how people are going to view you because we have the hierophant here. Someone may want to talk to a counselor or talk to, we got the strength card. There could be a Leo involved, but someone may want to talk to like a pastor or talk to someone, uh, you know, in a higher position trying to get some advice. Someone's asking for advice because someone is definitely worried here. All right. So with awareness, awareness, why is awareness here? Why is awareness here? Why is awareness here? Okay. You know that some you know that this is gonna cause some conflict. You know that this this is going to step on a few people's toes. Okay, but you definitely want to close a chapter here. Nine of Cups and the world, okay? So you want this phase to sizzle out. You know what it is that you want, okay? You just know that people are gonna you're gonna piss some people off by this decision that you want to make. But I feel like you feel like you got to stand up for yourself, okay? You got to stand up for yourself. You got to stand up for what's right and what you feel like is right, okay? Wow. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay. Maybe you're tired of feeling alone, too, or tired of, of doing things on your own, too. I, I'm hearing that as well. All right, so... Let's look at the challenges here. What is in the way for my Sagittarius? What is the challenges for my Sagittarius, please? All right, we have six of earth. All right, so this is about gifts of money, time, or effort. Okay, and this is about giving and receiving. So maybe you could feel like the situation is unrequited. Okay, maybe you feel like you aren't getting enough. Maybe you feel like you're giving more and you're getting less. Okay, then we have the nine of air at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is possibly worrying you. Okay, you you are stressed about this. This situation is causing you to stress. Okay. All right, now we have the seven of fire. All right, so you still feel like, you know, someone is defensive, gets defensive, okay? It could be, once again, we got the chariot. You guys could be dealing, definitely dealing with the cancer. But if someone gets, you know, defensive at times and you may feel like you have to stand your ground or try to find a way to overcome the obstacle. And, you know, you may come off as very, you know, defensive, in that way of, you know, just in that way. Someone may feel like you come off as very defensive or vice versa. Give me one more card for Sagittarius. All right, we have the two of water, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness and a positive resolution of a conflict. Okay, so this is the two of cups. This is most definitely about a connection. Okay, so we got page of air. Maybe you guys have someone that is watching. Okay, maybe you may have some nosy people all in you in your relationship, in your business. All right, but this is most definitely like someone that is kind of like, you know, someone could be bringing someone news without getting all of the information first. Just being kind of childlike. All right, but I feel like there's possibly gossiping or spying. Um, in regards to the relationship, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's get a few cards and let's see. What 
what action, what would be the best action for Sagittarius to take? We got the Hermit. All right, so that would be kind of taking time off to, you know, look at the situation from every angle. You may decide that the best thing for you to do would be to be single or the best thing to do would be to take time for yourself, okay? To do some healing, to do some, you know, just looking over everything, looking over the situation, all right? We got the justice card. Most definitely, you need to go within to figure out exactly what it is that you want. You need to go within. Maybe you um, need to, you maybe feel like someone, you know, talks a lot. I keep getting chariot. You guys could be dealing with a uh, cancer. But maybe you feel like, you know, someone says too much or you may say too much. Um, or you've said a lot of things. We got the Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. There could be two people here with this Justice card and the Queen of Wands. But I feel like you're trying to find a way to balance this out. We got the Star, which is Aquarius's energy. Strength card, Leo. But I feel like you're trying to... Stay strong in this situation. Maybe you are still holding on to hope. Why is the star card here? Okay. I feel like some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces. We got High Priestess and the Moon card here at the bottom of the deck. But definitely something that was hidden came to the light. Okay. So something that was in the dark, we got the Moon card here, came to the light with the Sun card. So something that was kept a secret is has came out. So whatever was kept in dark, the secret is now out, okay? So now you got to try to figure out how you're going to balance this out, how you're going to work this out, okay? So what's crown in this situation? Here we go again with that higher fit. A lot of you guys could be dealing with a um Taurus but you could be definitely trying to seek you know advice for possibly someone older you know talking to um a pastor or a friend someone that's older all right but advice would definitely be to keep your guard up okay don't let your guard down keep your guard up why is the nine of wands here you need to be observant you need to watch what's going on you need to become more observant okay You need to be, you need to listen more is what I'm picking up as well too. But just keep your guard up. That is the nine of wands here. Yeah, be patient. Be patient, okay? Be patient. Oh, we, I didn't see the three of swords here. Okay, so I feel like there could be thoughts of a separation of some sort, you know, to separate yourself from a group of people, a, a person, whatever it may be, okay? But the advice is for you to be patient, okay? Be patient. Why is the seven of pentacles here? You need to plan this out properly, okay? You need to plant your seeds properly, And I feel like you already know that because when I thought about it earlier, you guys' this energy, um, you guys' this energy was you felt like something was going to be a big risk if you took a risk. So you already know that it's a risky decision to make. Um, and you're possibly already being observant and, and watching your surroundings and paying attention to what's going on. Okay, so be patient. Pay attention to everything around you. Be observant. You know, just pay attention to everything, okay? All right, so that's going to be the message that I have for Sagittarius. I'm so glad that you guys tuned in with me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe. And until next time, my loves, ciao for now.